Welcome back, everyone. Happy holidays. Marvel just announced that they're firing Jonathan Majors as their Kang in the MCU movies, leaving them with a giant hole in the next two Avengers movies for the villains that they were going to use. Avengers 5 was literally called Kang Dynasty, and even though Avengers 6 was originally supposed to be Secret Wars and give them an opportunity to move past the Kang character and all of his variants if they wanted to, there was actually a report when it was announced that he had been fired that Marvel was going to move on that even faster. They're getting ready to cast Avengers 5 and they've stopped calling it Kang Dynasty as part of all these castings and all the work that they're doing, the pre-production at actual Marvel Studios behind the scenes. Meaning that they'll use some other subtitle for Avengers 5 and ultimately use it to focus on some other characters. A lot of people have some ideas about who this is going to be, but Variety and a couple of trades actually reported on this a couple months ago, Marvel's contingency plan. So we'll break it all down because there are a few obvious options for Marvel that most of you have been asking about, like characters in general that they would replace Kang with. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Whatever they wind up doing, of course, I'll do videos for it. January is probably going to be a huge month for announcements about all of these big changes that Marvel is making. You have questions. Yes. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm sure you had a lot of questions, but rest assured, we're going to answer them right now. Even though everything that happened with Jonathan Majors is a really big deal, like it's a really big surprise how this is all going down, there were a lot of other reasons for them to want to move past the multiverse saga movies that they're in right now. Just, just in general, the last couple of years, Marvel has been taking it in the butt. They really want to move on to something new, and that something new is the X-Men movies, essentially. They're meant to replace all the stuff that's happening right now. Like, all these characters, they just want to move past and onto fresh things that don't feel like they're trying to recycle the same old ideas over and over again for, like, the last 10 years. I just did a video last week about why Marvel fired Jonathan Majors. It's a very complicated situation. Like, there's no one reason why they did. After an entire year of everybody just waiting to find out how they were going to deal with his legal situation... Now that they have let him go as their Kang, he was also playing all the other variants of Kang in the Council of Kings, like all these other people, these other characters. Reportedly, they're changing Avengers 5, and the big news is that they're probably just going to turn Secret Wars into a two-part movie so that they can start the Secret Wars storyline in Avengers 5, and they don't have to wait a couple more years till Avengers 6. I've talked about this previously, but Marvel, behind the scenes, actually fired the writer of Avengers 5 Kang Dynasty, who was Jeff Loveness. He was the guy that wrote Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania. He wrote that Kang the Conqueror's post credit scene for that. It sounded like his script for Avengers 5 was the Council of Kangs coming for the Avengers with all these different variants played by Jonathan Majors. And at some point earlier this year, Marvel just decided that they wanted to move past it. Like, they, okay, we need to find something else to do. Then there was a moment that was actually really quiet, but I think it was them revealing that they were just going to turn Secret Wars into a two-part movie. So what they did is they fired Jeff Loveness a couple months ago, and they hired Michael Waldron, who had already been writing Avengers Secret Wars, which was going to be their Avengers 6. He was brought on to rewrite Avengers 5, and I think the part of that was them just expanding the Secret Wars storyline so that it encompassed two different movies, even though they'll still call Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 two completely different things. Like, right now it's Secret Wars Part 1, Secret Wars Part 2, but they did the exact same thing with Avengers Infinity War several years ago before they changed the title of the second movie to Avengers Endgame. Secret Wars also gives them the opportunity to have a vastly different type of villain and for it to actually make sense for the story. This also gives them a bunch of extra time to do a much better adaptation of the Secret Wars storylines from the comics. There are two different versions, one from the 1980s and one from the more recent comics. If you haven't watched Spider-Man the Animated Series, it's an amazing series because they actually did a version of the Secret Wars comic book 80s storyline during that, with Spider-Man being brought to a version of Battleworld, assembling a team, fighting against a bunch of villains like they did in the 80s comics. Who spot that Doctor Doom guy before and what? Of course! Computer, can I transport to this planet the Fantastic Four? Affirmative. There's another team of superheroes that I've worked with before. Computer, bring me one of the X-Men. Which one? Good question. During the commentary for Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness, they even revealed that they had started to set the character here when they were doing all the Fantastic Four stuff. Like this early on, they were already starting to set up Doctor Doom. Asana Lynch was a pleasure to work with. Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. So is John. Hello, Stephen. Teleportation device he uses to get into the scene. That's Dr. Doom's, uh, Dr. Doom's uh, time door. Time platform. Stephen, but it's not the Scarlet Witch that we fear. 
That's the voice of Michael Waldron, the person I said they just hired to write Avengers 5 or rewrite Avengers 5. The more recent version of Secret Wars was a much bigger storyline and God Emperor Doom was the main antagonist of that story, like the focal point of that story, even though there were a bunch of other villains from other Marvel movies that wound up in that story. So doing the two-part Secret Wars just avoids them having to double down on the Council of Kangs in Avengers 5 if they want to move past them really quickly, which I think that they probably will. There's also been talk about them recasting the Council of Kangs, like all these different main variants that they were going to have to use. My take on all this is they spent so much time developing the Council of Kangs as a main threat coming after the Avengers. They had to address them in at least some way. They can't just do like the last couple of movies before Avengers 5, then Avengers 5, without ever speaking of the name Kang ever again or the Council of Kangs. You need at least one big scene showing some other character killing them off, setting them up as the bigger threat. Here's the thing though, some of you actually probably figured this out. The other trades published a report a while ago that internally at Marvel's last big story retreat, where each year they decide the future of all the Marvel movies, they'd already discussed pivoting to Doctor Doom in the Marvel movies away from the Kang character. And this was months and months ago that this happened. There were a lot of reasons why they were discussing moving away from the Kang character, and a lot of it involved them just kind of waiting to see what was happening with Jonathan Majors. Of all the viable options that Marvel has them, like characters that they could use, that people could identify with, that work on different story levels, like really high concept levels, but also on ground level, like more Earth-based stories, Doctor Doom is probably one of their best options. He's one of the few characters that works in pretty much any type of story that you want to do. He's a man of magic, a man of science, so he'd even work as an Iron Man villain. And this would really blow your minds. Before Robert Downey Jr. was cast as Iron Man in the first Iron Man movie, they actually revealed, Kevin Feige, John Favreau, that he was actually up to play the original version of Doctor Doom in those old Fantastic Four movies. Should we talk about that? Because I think that's probably one of the greatest decisions in the history of of. Hollywood. Robert had come in for a general on it. And I remember you had all met with him already for like Dr. Doom or something on another project. I think on, well, maybe, on, yeah. on, on, I think he had come through on a pre, like maybe right. Fantastic Four. Right. They just kind of shows you where their headspace is for all those movies. Like, oh, this character just works as so many different types of characters. He'd work as a Dr. Strange villain, like magic based villain just as well. And because of his backstory, he also works a lot like the Loki character, somebody who starts out with good intentions, but then slowly begins to break bad. And you understand why he's doing all these bad things. He feels like he has to do them, like he's gone too far to do anything else. We'll talk more about this in a second, too, because Loki, obviously, probably one of the best characters in the MCU, one of the best arcs in the MCU. They've used him as both a villain and a hero. But the really big problem that Marvel has right now with that, and a lot of you realize this, there have been a lot of people commenting about this just in general, how do they develop him well enough to work as the antagonist of an Avengers movie? Loki had the benefit of being a main character in the first Thor movie before he was in that first Avengers movie. They'd have to give Doctor Doom the same treatment, but as it also happens, they've already given themselves the opportunity to do this. They've only publicly confirmed what some of their movies a little further out are going to be, but they did announce that they were actually working on Doctor Strange 3, and the movie was originally meant to be one of the final movies before Secret War started, if not the final movie before it started, like Doctor Strange 3 ends and boom, Secret Wars. They were originally going to use that to finish paying off all the incursions storyline with the remaining universes being destroyed. That was what that post credit scene in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness was all about, setting up the incursions storyline. They were also going to weave in the comic book Secret Wars plot with Battleworld, the Beyonders, collapsing the remaining universes. And at least before all the drama with Jonathan Majors, with the Council of Kangs, they were going to replace the Beyonders from the more recent Secret Wars with the idea of the Council of Kangs being behind all this. What they can do now is just make Doctor Doom one of the second leads in Doctor Strange 3 and use it to explain how he's a sorcerer just like Doctor Strange and they can use part of Doctor Strange 3 to adapt at least some of the Triumph and Torment storyline so that the audience begins to sympathize with Doctor Doom because it's a story all about he and Doctor Strange trying to go to hell to save his mother's soul. Just like Loki, you kind of understand a little bit about where his character came from, why he's doing all these terrible things. You just need some of the beats of that story so that you understand why it is he's seeking all this power. And he becomes the main antagonist of a Secret Wars storyline, either just Avengers 5 or you can do him for both Avengers 5 and Avengers 6. 
But let me know in the comments if Marvel has to pivot from the Kang character like they're going to kill off the Council of Kangs either at the beginning of or right before Avengers 5. Who do you want them to replace the Kangs with? Like who is going to be the new main antagonist when Avengers 5 picks up? There's a bunch of stuff coming up. We're in the middle of Marvel's What If episodes I'm doing videos for. So be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss any of that. Click here for that Deadpool 3 teaser with all those X-Men characters. And click here to learn why Marvel fired Jonathan Majors. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and happy holidays.